Hey and welcome back to this new pizza ray tutorial. Today we want to create an abstract arc water scene. We will create the arc with the spline, put this into geometry nodes to create a grid and after that we will create some materials and bring in some light. Let's jump right in. Okay here we are in a fresh blender scene and today we don't use this cube and this light. Instead we want to use here a curve and arc. If you don't have this uh, in your menu here, you can go to edit preferences and search here for the add curve extra object. Enable this one. Okay, now let's go to the curve and uh, arc. Let's change here the end angle from 45 to 180. Okay, now we are already in the edit mode. If you are don't in the edit mode, you can press tab on the arc here and you will see these points. Now let's select the bottom points and press E for extrude. And you can move these points here around now with your mouse, but we don't want to do this. Press escape and then let's press N. And now we want to change here the Y value to minus five. That's enough <laughs> with some spline stuff. Let's bring these splines here to geometry so and to do this we have to go here into this object data property change this one to 3d and bring the render u to 12 as well and let's change the fill mode to full and let's go to the geometry drop down here let's change the extrude from 0 to point five and let's change here the bevel depth from zero to point oh five okay that is our arc here for today let's leave the edit mode by pressing tab and hide this for now and now we can create a new one to create our grid so let's rename this one to arcs and we want to go to the geometry nodes tab now create a new one gn arcs what we need now is the arc here inside of the geometry nodes and we need a grid as well and an instance on points let's cut off this one here and let's bring in the grid mesh to the points and our arc into the instance and the instance to the geometry okay first let's change here the rotation to 90 and now we can change the grid x to 28.8 by 42 and let's increase the vertices to 15 by 16 and to bring this a little bit up let's add here a transform and put this up into in the z value to 1.9 that's it for all the geometry nodes let's go back to the layout mode and now we can bring in here a new second view let's bring in the final camera position press zero on the numpad i want to change uh, this now here to zero by minus 22.6 by 1.11 and let's change the rotation to 90 by zero by zero uh, change this one here now to rendered and we want to use cycles here now let's use the GPU compute and I want to go now into the camera settings and change the perspective to panoramic. Keep in mind that you only can use this one here with cycles and not with EV. And now let's change the lens to 13 and the field of view to 268. Let's go here now to the Perspa 2 in the viewport display and bring this one to 1 and bring this a little bit up here so we can see what we are doing okay and the next thing will be here a little path in our scene so let's create a new cube and this one should go to 1 by 50 by 0.1 so we are having here a little uh, yeah, path in our scene and let's create now the plane for our water let's rename this one and this one is 50 by 50 and now we can start to bring in a little bit of materials so let's bring this a little bit up and change this one now to shader editor 
make a new material, which will be water here. The first thing which I want to change now is the base color. So let's change the hex color to something blue purplish. <laughs> And now let's increase the metallic to 0.5 and bring down the roughness to zero. So it's more reflective here right now. And I want to increase the transmission to one. So it's more translucent here right now. And to make this water a little bit more <laughs> like water, we need a noise texture. Bring this color into a bump in the height one here and normal into the normal. Now let's change the scale to 50 and we're having here some kind of water. And for the next step, I want to change here the environment color. You can see we're having here this grayish color, but I want to change this one here now to something bluish as well. So let's go here with this color. And now it's really brightened up in some kind of cool blue here. And yeah, the next step is we need here uh, another cube. Change this one to 50 by 50 as well. And bring this right under our water surface. Maybe let's change this now here to random so we can see a little bit more. And now let's bring this a little bit down here to something like, yeah, make this even minus point uh, minus point five and now we can bring this cube maybe let's rename this to water fork let's create here a new water fork material for this one so let's delete the principal bsdf and search for a volume scatter bring this into the volume and everything is fine because now we want to bring in another <laughs> another thing which is an area light and change the rotation to 180 so it's pointing up and we have to bring this a little bit down so let's go to alt and z so we can see where this one is going and we want to put this into our water fork <laughs> so let's bring this down to minus 1.1 and now let's go into these settings, increase the size to 50 and increase <laughs> the power to 50,000. So it's really brightened up. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I want to change here um, the color to something orangey, but that's up to you. Um, so having here now these more orangey, reddish, something like this. <laughs> and I think that's that's a cool contrast here to the to the bluish one. And to make this a little bit more interesting now, um, let's bring in here another light, which will be in sunlight. And this sunlight is orange as well. So let's change this to orange, but the strength should be a little bit more up, like five. Yeah, and I want to change the angle to zero. So we are having really sharp shadows. If you increase this angle, you can see that the shadows are more blurry and softer. I want to have really sharp, sharp, <laughs> shadows here and now let's go into the settings of this light and i want to change the rotation x to minus 50 by 42 so we are having here some cool and in interesting shadows here on the side yeah to make this a little bit more interesting that you can't see the end of our archway here let's create another cube um which will be for fog as well so let's change this one here to 50 by 50 by 10 and we want to create a new material for this one and yeah, let's rename this here so and let's search for volumetric scatter again but we want to change here now the color here a little bit to grayish and let's turn down the density to something like 
0.2. So we can barely see here the end, but yeah. So that's a little bit more interesting for the whole scene that we can't see <laughs> the end. So, but as always, it's up to you. And now let's go for the last step. Let's go here into the render settings. Let's change the look and the color management to high contrast or very high so that the colors are more popping out of this one. If you want to render this out, let's go here to performance, change the tile size a little bit down, maybe to something like 512 and change the sampling here down from the max values to 256 and the denoise you want to have a little bit more grainy way <laughs> you can go with this or you can enable the denoise and have a little bit more softer look but that's up to you and then you can go to render and render this one out here that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye